Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing another volume of my empties series. Pretty sure it's volume six, but honestly, I have no idea what number we're on. I always just check the video before I post it. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like these kinds of empties videos. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing and the little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Today's makeup is just super neutral. Didn't really spend a whole lot of time doing much. It feels like a very lazy Friday. Fridays I normally work from home, but this week because of the train situation I've worked from home like three days and honestly I'm kind of like losing my mind. Like I give major props to whoever can actually like can consistently work from home because I'm slowly losing my mind. <laughs> But the good news is that since I don't have to commute, I do have a little bit more time in the morning to film before I actually have to start working for the day. So there's always goods and there's always negatives. There's always pros and there's always cons. So as usual, my empties are mostly skincare. I tend to run through those more than I do makeup. So let's start with, let's start with the skincare. We'll go into the makeup and then I think I have like one hair care product in here. So first off, of course, I have quite a few empties of my favorite makeup removing cloths. These are all the same Neutrogena makeup removing cleansing towelettes and just the original scent. I buy these in bulk at Costco. Actually, I have a Costco box. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is what the actual box looks like that you get from Costco. It's fairly large. And what you actually get in it, you can see on the side if it's not too shiny, you get four of like the full size packets. You get two of the minis, so in the minis you get like 15 cloths. And then they actually give you like a little sample of the shower gel. Which, it's a nice shower gel. Um, so I always buy these. And then I have a little drawer in my um, blue storage kind of container. I show it in my room tour, I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to see it, but there's a drawer specifically for makeup removing cloths, so I just empty out this box into that drawer, and then I just go in whenever I need another pack of wipes, but I think this is the best value, especially because these cloths are so, so great. I probably pick this up, like, not once a month, I don't think I go through them that quickly, but maybe every month and a half I get one of these. I actually did use up one of my face washes. I buy the CeraVe like sensitive skin um, face cleanser and I keep mine, I have like the little pump version of it and I keep that in my shower. So this, when I finished this one, it was actually really messy and I couldn't really clean it up in order to keep it for this empties bottle, for this empties video. But I really do love that cleanser. It's just really gentle, but it still gets everything off and it's just my favorite. I've gone through at least three of those sizes already, and I already have another one that I'm, I moved on to and I used as soon as I finished up that last one. So let's see, I have an empty of vitamin C serum from Measurable Difference. I always pick these up from TJ Maxx. I like this one. I feel like it's moisturizing. I'm not sure about like the full vitamin C benefits of it, but I do like the serum for moisturizing. It works really well under my moisturizer also in the mornings and under my makeup. And I just, I don't know. I feel like my skincare wouldn't be complete without this step. I also already have two backups of that and I have one open that I'm currently using. Next I have some minis from Drunk Elephant that I wasn't really too impressed by. I have the TLC Framboos glycolic night serum and then I have the Be Hydra intensive hydration gel so they're both I think this one you can use in the morning the blue one and then the pink one you're only supposed to use at night uh, I've been looking for I don't know a dupe or an alternative to my Sunday Riley oil because it's expensive <laughs> and while I do love it and how it makes you know my skin look and feel I don't know if I can continue spending that much money on you know skincare oil. Uh, these are definitely not any cheaper, but I had a whole set of minis from last year that I hadn't gotten around to using, and so I thought I would try it out and see if, you know, Drunk Elephant really is worth the price. Eh. Personally, I wasn't really impressed. I didn't see anything different. I actually stopped using my Sunday Rally oil so I could just test these out, and nothing that would push me to pay however much money these full sizes are. I also have another mini from, um, Junk Elephant that is a moisturizer. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer, and I will say this is actually a really nice moisturizer. I liked the scent. I like the way my skin feel. 
I used this for about a week and a half, which is about the amount of use I could get out of it. I would never pay that much money for this moisturizer, though. Never. <laughs> yeah, no. Next, I have an empty from The Ordinary. This is the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. And I've been looking for a dupe for this too because I love this so much. I use it every night with my moisturizer. I put a little bit of my moisturizer in my hand, a little dropper full of this, mix it together, and put it on. I definitely saw results on my redness, on like my acne scarring. I did have a few spots that I did see get lighter. Overall, this just did wonders for my skin. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to get a hold of this because A, it was always sold out. So when I first bought it, I bought two bottles. This is the second bottle that I ran out of. So since I don't have it anymore, I've been testing out some other, like, rose hip seed oils, but nothing is as good as this one. So I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and pray that this is still in stock and just pick up, like, a bunch of them. And I think the last skincare empty I have is a moisturizer. This is from too cool for school I think it's the brand and this is the egg mellow cream moisturizer I actually really enjoyed this moisturizer I love the scent it's very similar to my favorite Clinique moisturizer with the exception of the scent and it's right around the same price too so it's not really a dupe it was more of a nice alternative to use but then I kind of went back to using my Clinique after this one because I think you definitely get more product in the Clinique one than you do in this one because how many ounces are in here? Okay, you get 1.76 ounces in here. I know there's more in my Clinique one for the same price, so I'm going to stick with that Clinique one for now. This moisturizer says it's brightening and anti-wrinkles and it's supposed to be firming. I didn't see any of that. I just thought it was a nice moisturizer. I didn't think it made my wrinkles go away or, you know anything crazy but a decent moisturizer all right so since I have two like miscellaneous ones let's just jump into those first I have a body lotion these are my favorite lotions of all time they are from Bath and Body Works and it's the aromatherapy line love it to death my favorite is the eucalyptus tea which is this one I love the scent I also like the regular uh, eucalyptus one and then they just came out with a rose one that smells really good but these full size, let me get a bottle. Full size, they look like this, except it's got the different packaging. But it's this size and you get a lot of product in here. As you can see, mine is cut completely open. Because what happens is when you can when you can no longer get product out of the tube, a lot of people throw it out. But if you cut this open, I have another like two weeks worth of lotion just from cutting it open. And I have that, I do that at work too. So I have one of these on my desk at work. I have one here on my vanity and I have a couple of backups. And I have that many because Bath and Body Works does like once or twice a year, a huge sale on lotion. These are normally $16. That's a lot for lotion. It's a lot for lotion. Also part of the reason why I scrape out and get my money's worth out. But they had a sale a few months ago where these were three dollars each yeah three dollars so I picked up like ten of them that is one hell of a sale for something that I use literally multiple times a day so I'm working through all of that lotion like I said I have one at work I have a backup that I keep in my desk at work and I've got my lotions here and I just I love this lotion it's not it's got the right consistency to it it keeps my skin very very soft and it smells amazing so these are my favorite lotions of all time and I'm finally getting to the point where I think I'm halfway through the 10 bottles that I bought but whenever you see them on sale for three dollars jump because <laughs> that's an amazing deal the next product that I'm going to talk about today is a hair care product and this is from Diva Curl this is the melt into moisture matcha butter conditioning mask and I love this this is the point perk that you get from Sephora. Again, I did cut it open and get everything out of it. When I saw this as a point perk from Sephora, I actually used up all my points to get as many of these as I could because this mask was expensive and I had really wanted to try it at that point. So I think I had five bottles. This is the first one completely empty. I have two that are open because I have a lot of hair and I had to like use a bottle and a half to deep condition. And I love the way my hair feels and looks and just, oh, this is the best deep conditioner that I've used. And again, it's expensive. I need to find a dupe for it. Um, 
because I don't know if I would buy the full size after I go through all my little mini bottles. I should have bought it during the sale. Not that I'm thinking about it. I probably should have bought the deep conditioner during the Sephora sale. But there's always going to be another sale. There's always other products. Live and learn. <laughs> but this is a great deep conditioning mask. And I love the scent too. It smells kind of like Play-Doh. It smells exactly like Play-Doh. <laughs> All right, on to the makeup. I have quite a few primers. I have the Dr. Brandt Pore Refining Primer. Finally used this guy up. It was a really nice pore primer, but I'm not gonna go out and like buy the full size. But for a sample, this was big and lasted me a long time. It worked really well for a sample. You know, you don't get that a lot with samples. Next, I have a primer from NYX. This is the NYX Photo Loving Primer. Again, cut it open, clean the thing out. NYX's primers can get expensive, and I really don't know why. Like, I feel like NYX prices are getting a little... Mm. But this is a great dupe for that Smashbox uh, silicone primer, and this one works just as well. So if you're in the market for a good silicone primer, I would recommend this one. Just don't buy it full price. Just, like, wait for a sale. Do you, at Ulta, do the buy two, get one, whatever. Ah, uh, I just... Why are you so expensive? The next item I have is also a sample. This is from Fenty. This is a sample of her matte pro filter primer. And I really liked this primer. Again, I did open it up and scrape it out. I don't think I would buy a full size of it though, because it's expensive and I have plenty of affordable matte primers that I would definitely reach for over this one. But it did feel really nice on my skin. It kept me matte without drying me out. So it still felt like I was putting on a moisturizer, but it looked matte and it kept me matte throughout the day. So if you're struggling with finding a nice matte primer that won't completely suck you dry, this would be a good option. But I, I wouldn't say buy it, I would say try the sample. Because I think I got this as one of those, like, if you spend 25 get a free sample on your Sephora online order. So I would try that first. Don't just go and buy it because I said so. Like, test it. <laughs> The next item I actually have on today, this is my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in Rebel Rose. This one I've had for over a year and it's been drying out and it hasn't been applying as well as it should. So I did just purchase another one. So I'm wearing the new one today and I'm retiring this old one. If you've been living under a rock, this is my favorite drugstore liquid lipstick like of all time. Highly recommend it. I actually just went into my local CVS last night and purchased it. And of course, after I do my full face of Wet n Wild and after I've been looking everywhere for everything, my CVS has a brand spanking new full Wet n Wild display, like an end cap. It's huge. And it had everything that I wanted. <laughs> I actually also found a blush there that someone suggested that I try in the comments, the apricot in the middle. And I'm wearing that today and I love it. It looks gorgeous so I was surprised to find that in my CVS because normally my CVS like there's nothing in stock and it's always a mess and I don't know I just happened to go in because my boyfriend wanted to get a Red Bull we go in and I'm like I was shocked I was like oh I want everything <laughs> but no so I just got the Red Bull Rose and then I got that apricot in the middle blush and great purchases great the next empty I have is actually a pretty old foundation. This is the Fenty foundation. I had just like the smallest amount left in here for the longest time because I don't like wearing this by itself, but it's an amazing mixing foundation. I used to love mixing this with the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. That was my holy grail for a long time. But more recently, I was mixing this in with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte foundation, um, and then that ran out. And so I was just mixing this in with a couple of other like drugstore foundations, finally finished up the last of it. It's kind of hard to see, but I had it like sit like that. I literally scraped out the thing. So this is done. Uh, I'm debating buying it again because I do have another Estee Lauder double wear and I do love mixing these together. So I feel like I'll wait a bit, probably not until next year. And if I really do want to try that combination out again, I would buy another one of these to use with my double wear. Last but certainly not least, I have a little mini makeup setting spray empty and it's from Scandinavia, my absolute favorite setting spray and this is just a mini of their makeup finishing spray. Nothing too crazy or anything. 
So those are all of my empties for the past couple of weeks. Let me know down below what's the last product that you finished up, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.